So by default, this is what happens. The controller is detected as keyboard and mouse and the buttons are not working correctly. Hey everyone, Solidash here, welcome back. I'll show you two very simple methods to fix controller for any game if you are running Windows on Steam Deck. Uh, first off, if you already have other controller tools, for example, like Glossy or SWICD, make sure those are not running or better to completely remove those because we don't need anything other than Steam Deck tools, which as you can see, we are already downloading and installing right now. All links will be in the description box. So check it out. Also, if it helps, please consider putting a like to the video. It helps for YouTube's algorithm and if you like Steam Deck content, maybe subscribe to the channel. Okay, this is the first method which will work for any non-Steam games, including Xbox app or Game Pass games. We have done installing Steam Deck tools. Now you will get four shortcuts on the desktop after installing it. For controller, there is a shortcut named Steam Controller. This one. Run it. Also close Steam if it's already running, otherwise it might not function properly. Now right click on the controller tool from taskbar and just select X360 which is um, Xbox controller emulator and that's it. Uh, very easy thing. Let's start for the Horizon 4 from Xbox app. First let's quickly try without the tool and see how Steam Deck controllers behave by default. Select Don't go anywhere. Horizon is here to stay. As you can see nothing seems working and this is the common case by default. Now let's minimize the game and turn on the X360 option. And there you go, controller is live and working. Now the second method, first let's close the tool and start Steam. This one is more simpler um, from Steam, click add a game, add a non Steam game and then adding the game exe file usually works for most case but to make FC24 work I had to add the EA app as a shortcut. Adding only the FC24 exe doesn't recognize the controller for some reason. Any and mostly all non Steam games will work with this method, other than those Game Pass games or Xbox app games. Uh, for Game Pass, you have to use the first method, so just to be noted. So, adding EA App Launcher, and you can rename it as FC24. Press play. This will launch the EA app. And from here, 
just run FC as usual. There it is, controller is on the top, functional. Let's go for a gameplay test. All right, I want to show you one last thing. So I use Windows Game Bar as in-game FPS counter, which can be enabled by pressing Windows plus G on keyboard, since most of us not carrying a keyboard with the deck. So let's find out how to set the shortcut to one of the back grip button of Steam Deck. In Steam, go to settings, go to controller, then desktop layout and click edit. Steam has some great controller customization option built in, so it's great. For example, I want to add the shortcut to L5 back grip button, which I already have Windows key added, but let's add another shortcut to the same key. Click the settings wheel here, select add extra command, go to keyboard, select Windows key, now click the wheel again. For second command, click the wheel one more time. Click the top option and select long press. Click the wheel again for the last time and select add subcommand. From keyboard, just select G. So what I just did is when the L5 back grip is pressed one time, the start menu will appear as shortcut one, which is the Windows key. But when you hold it, the Windows game bar will appear as shortcut 2 is set to Windows plus G. Let's show you how it works. So here I am just pressing the button, start menu popping up, here I am pressing again. And now here pressing and holding the same button, there you go, Windows game bar. So remember this is desktop shortcut, so if you are already in game, you have to minimize the game and the shortcut will work. Anyway, hope it helps. If you face any issue or problem, just let me know in the comments. I'm super active on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I'll, I'll try my best to help you out. And till next time, thanks for watching.